A London police officer has pleaded guilty to 49 charges, including 24 counts of rape. David Carrick admitted in court yesterday to abusing and sexually assaulting 12 women from 2003 to 2020. Prosecutors described the offenses as a, quote, relentless campaign of sexually and mentally abusing women. Carrick was arrested in October 2021 after a woman came forward. However, that victim decided not to proceed with the allegation. CBS News foreign correspondent Holly Williams is in London following this story for us and joins us now. Holly, this is a incredibly horrific story. What more do you know about this police officer and the allegations against him? Well, Vlad, I mean, you're right. It's, it's just disturbing uh, in one word. David Carrick uh, admitted to being a serial rapist, uh, pleading guilty to 24 counts of rape and a total of 49 different charges, uh, including sexual assault and attempted rape. Um, and those cases go back nearly two decades. He apparently systematically isolated his victims. This was profoundly psychological. Uh, and he used his job as a police officer to gain their trust. Apparently, the severity of the offences increased as he believed uh, that he was getting away with it and, and could get, get away with it. One of the prosecutors involved said, quote, the scale of the degradation Carrick subjected his victims to is unlike anything I've count encountered in 34 years on the job. Of course, what makes this particularly disturbing is that these cases came to light in 2021 when he was arrested and suspended from duty. But there were multiple accusations of harassment and assault against him while still a serving police officer going back many years, none of which resulted in criminal charges or the loss of his job. Uh, now, the Metropolitan Police Force, where he served, that's the force that serves the Greater London area, has apologised, uh, saying, quote, we've let women and girls down. Um, and they've acknowledged that some of his victims did not come forward sooner because he told them that they simply would not be believed. So, Holly, just to sort of clarify, based on some of the reports that I read, it seemed like a lot of this activity was in his personal life or not as a police officer. Mm. Do you know if it, if it sort of, if it crisscrossed into his life as a police officer or this is primarily the way he treated women and, I guess, girlfriends of his in his personal life? The allegation, as I understand it, is he used his identity uh, as a police officer in this kind of profoundly psychological abuse mm. that he inflicted um, on on his victims. And there is this there are these allegations that came to light while he was still a serving police officer. And the police force acknowledges that the vetting process mm. uh, should have been should have been much better than it was. I mean, the, the big question for the Metropolitan Police is how this was able to go on for, for two decades. And they're coming in for some very uh, harsh criticism in, in this country. And this follows a case back in 2021 when a woman was raped and murdered by a serving police officer who abducted her, uh, pretending to place her under arrest. And an inquiry following that murder found a, quote, disgraceful culture of bullying and sexual harassment within the Met Police. Um, uh, the police also faced criticism for heavy-handed treatment of women at a vigil uh, for the woman who was murdered. Um, and then yesterday it emerged that mes met the met Metropolitan Police are investigating more than a thousand cases or alleged cases of sexual and domestic abuse claims um, against uh, around 800 of its own officers. Uh, we've had what can only be described as an abject apol apology over the David Carrick uh, case from the head of the Metropolitan Police. And I'll, I'll quote from it directly. Uh, he said, this man abused women in the most disgusting manner. It is sickening. We have failed and I'm sorry, he should not have been a police officer. Our mindset should have been more determined to root out such a misogynist. Mm. Wow. Uh, so, as you know, Holly, Carrick has pleaded guilty to these charges against him. Uh, what happens now? And what are the repercussions he's likely to face? So um, he will be sentenced next month. Um, he's obviously facing a, a long term in prison. At this point, we don't know exactly what kind of term that will be. Uh, the police are apparently expecting uh, more victims to come forward. Of course, the other repercussion is for the police force itself. Um, public confidence in the police in this country has previously been pretty high. Polls in 2020 and 2021 found that at least 70 per cent of people uh, thought they were doing a good job. But last year, that fell to just over 50 per cent. Um, and I think we can assume that this case won't do much for those numbers. Indeed. Uh, yeah, it's truly disturbing, Holly. Thank you very much.